We've got a documentary on Bray Wyatt, which will be premiering in two weeks. Bray Wyatt Becoming Immortal, Monday, April 1st. It will be narrated by The Undertaker. They've got interviews with Triple H, John Cena, Becky Lynch, Hulk Hogan, Braun Strowman. Interviews with Bo Dallas, his brother, sister Mika Rotunda, his fiance, uh, Josanne Offerman. What was her? What was her? Uh, Jojo. Jojo. That's right. That's right. That threw me off. Passed away, thirty-six year old. Uh, thirty-six years old, August twenty-four, twenty twenty-three, due to a heart issue, and uh, that's going to be coming up. I guess that would be uh, the week of WrestleMania. Because we have the SmackDown Hall of Fame ceremony on April 5th. And he will not apparently be going into the Hall of Fame this year. A lot of people thought it was going to take place. Apparently it's going to happen sooner rather than later. And I don't know what that means. Maybe they maybe they want him to be a headliner one year. Uh, maybe they want it to be in, in uh, coordination with something else. I don't know. But he's going in maybe probably pretty the- soon. The circumstances, too. Maybe there are people that are not exactly ready for that yet. And you are bringing the entire family in because of Barry Windham and Mike Rotundo being inducted in as the U.S. Express. And obviously, they're putting this documentary out. So this may be just helping to lay the groundwork for him to go in next year because it's almost impossible for me to believe that he will not be inducted into the Hall of Fame at some point here. And unless they're going to do two a year and possibly announce one during SummerSlam or something like that, you know, next year probably would be the time. Sandman says, I thought the prediction was that two women's matches would be on Dynamite. One would be advertised and the other would not be advertised. See, this is going to be kind of difficult because, uh, but what does that mean by advertised? Like, if they go on the air only having advertised three matches, but then what if they advertise it when the show starts? Does that count? I feel like that may have happened already. And as far as people saying the prediction's not bold enough, well, if it's the only one that came true, it's the winner. I don't think we have anything else that came true so far that people have predicted. I don't know. I got close and got a plaque out of the deal. I know Tara did as well, too. It's only March. Did you get a plaque? Which was yours? I do. It's over here. I'll get I'll right. it during the break. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper BB, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Yesterday, I was disgusted. Oh, here's your plaque? Yeah. Remember this? 2020. 2020. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Everyone's plaque is different. That's a nice plaque. I still I like just... my giant platinum ring i gifted myself for 2021 so you won in 2020 and i won in 2021 Mm -hmm. it's 2021 you're exactly right it's almost like it's a gimmick but it's not (laughs) we're just wildly intelligent exactly now just i'm gonna fight out intelligent you are i'm gonna fight out telling because vinny vinny likes to claim he's mensa qualified and this idiot didn't watch that rock promo in the gym (laughs) did you watch it the rock promo in the yes, the one from last week in the gym, the yes, one the from one Friday, eight minutes long. Yes, All I was right. stunned that it was so short compared to some of the other ones he's done. Set up Friday night though perfectly, now didn't it? Said he was going to talk about his mama. The boy talked about the man's mama. He did. Call him a crybaby. Promo and was so unbelievable <laughs> that when it was over, I, I just wanted to tell Dave. Who is Ja Morant? That's what you asked him. You must rename the category. You (laughs) must rename Best on Interviews. It needs to be named after The Rock. The Dwayne Johnson Award? He's the greatest there's ever been. My God. Yeah, Yeah, he is. And you know, there's actually a a potential problem, okay? What's that? And that is that he literally is, like, outshining everybody. Everybody. And not just like, you know, he's a little better than everybody, but, I mean, there's nobody close. And, you know, people talk about Cody and Seth and everything, but the the one that's really suffering right now is Roman because he has to stand in the ring with this guy. <laughs> and, uh, oh, my God. Hey. Oh, my Lord. Biggest star in Hollywood for a reason, you know? See, we Michael. this back in the day. Michael here says it exposes the current guys. That's actually not true. It exposes everybody else in the whole history of wrestling. Like, this isn't a modern guy's thing. I mean, God, 
This guy is levels above everybody. And it's not just like what he says, but his star power, his presence, his... I mean, it's Look, like... you cannot teach height or charisma. And that dude has got both, but especially charisma to spare for weeks and years and decades and centuries. Again, that's why the guy's as big outside of wrestling as he ever was inside of it. So there is nothing you can do. And I know it's become kind of a talking point. Is he, is he big footing everything here? And that was... Tom and I talked about that on Friday. It's just going to be the way it is. What's interesting for Roman is, at some point, Rock and Roman are going to have their split. And to me, The Rock is going to obviously be the babyface in that exchange. It's going to be interesting to see how Roman gets a lot of his man back, a lot of his power back against The Rock, and puts one on The Rock. That's going to be interesting because The Rock has shown zero i mean zero weakness whatsoever when it comes to seth and talking about cody obviously that's probably going to lead somewhere it's going to be interesting how he plays it going up against roman who again he's going to want to be an equal in their battle over who's the actual head of the table you know i was thinking about this what are they going to do at wrestlemania wrestlemania weekend we know one thing for sure okay we know one thing for sure Cody is winning because they did add the stip that if Cody doesn't win, he can never challenge for the WWE title again. And they're not doing the same thing they did in AEW. I mean, they're doing everything except telling you, pay your money, buy your ticket, Cody's winning the title Sunday. But what are we doing Saturday? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Are we really going to have bloodline rules on Sunday where they can, and I quote, and I quote, do anything they want? I'm begging they don't do that because even though Cody will overcome all the odds and everything, I mean, it's just one of those things that you just can't get past all the logic holes that will inherently be there. They can do whatever they want. Well, why don't they rule that Cody can only win if he gets a pinfall on the moon. I mean, you can't you can't have a thing where the heels can do whatever they want, but a portion of that is, well, you know, if you pin Roman, you win or whatever. Why wouldn't they say, bloodline rules, uh, Cody needs to win by 40 count. I mean, it's just stupid. So I was thinking about this. Rock is going in hard on old Cody and his mother. And... Obviously, this is all, you know, the big picture is Rock and Roman Reigns. Rock is the is the baby face. I still believe that, uh, I don't know, we'll see. What I think is going to happen, honestly, I was thinking about this on Friday. I think Cody is pinning the Rock. I think Cody is going to pin the Rock. And I think it's going to be a fair fight on Sunday. I know everyone's expecting bloodline rules, but man, I watched Rock go all in on Cody and his mother and the whole nine yards. And I thought, Cody is going to pin this guy. Because you know what? I think that when they do the Rock and Roman Reigns the uh, for the head of the table, well, there's not going to be a title on the line. I think Rock is going to beat Roman Reigns. Bro, Roman Reigns has been the top guy for a decade. Rock doesn't, he doesn't need to be made. How's, I mean, honestly, how does it help Roman Reigns to beat The Rock? He says he beat The Rock. What, he's going to be a main eventer after that? He's been the, the top guy for a decade. If you're going to do The Rock's retirement match as a babyface against, it's exactly like Sting. It's exactly like the Sting thing. Why does The Rock need to do a job in his last match to Roman Reigns? Did it hurt the Young Bucks to put over Sting in his final match? Of course not. Not one single solitary bit. Everybody loved it. They were all happy. You do a WrestleMania, Babyface Rock versus Roman Reigns. Who's the real head of the table? Rock beats the guy clean. Everybody's happy. So if Rock's beating Roman, he can put somebody over. He can put over Cody the night before Cody beats Roman Reigns. And if you want to get Cody over as your top guy, he beats The Rock and Roman Reigns on back-to-back -back nights. Just like they did, although it was for, you know, it was a little bit different back then, but remember Jericho when he beat The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin? 
you know, one after the other for that uh, undisputed title. When he had Stephanie's dog. Yeah. Jericho, you beat them both. So, uh, oh, that was after that. That was, that was the mania match with Hunter after he'd won the titles. But yeah. Hey, well, look, you, you have to kind of do that to me because you don't want to beat Roman before Sunday. I mean, I guess you could have Cody get a win over him on Sunday, but to me, that kind of defeats the purpose. You, no, I want to, hold on. I, I want to make sure I didn't screw this up because people are asking. The Rock is the baby face. Roman is the heel. I saw it on the board yesterday as well. Like, you know, how are we going to do this with Rock as the heel and Roman? Roman is not going to be the baby face. The no. Rock is going to be the baby face. No. I want to make that clear. Even if they wanted to do it that way, the people are not going to let them do that. It's just, it's impossible. It's impossible. You see it with The Rock now. He could he could say anything he wanted to about Cody, his mother, Dusty, Black Jack Mulligan. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter who it is. Dick Murdoch, Insult Roses, everything. It does not matter. He's going to get cheered. So that's the dynamic you want. Plus, let's look at this thing honestly after wrestlemania we could see roman disappear for a while go on a vacation for a little bit so okay now my question is what happens with solo sokoa that's going to be to me one of the most interesting pieces of the story as we come out of wrestlemania what's also interesting is what are they going to do with seth rollins is that title match going to take place on saturday is the rock going to you know again is he going to make a decree that he, rollins is going to have his title defense and then we're going to close the show does it take place to open up sunday that's going to be interesting to see where they decide to go ahead and place that match and if they give him a win or not i would put the title on drew mcintyre and then have damian priest you know remind drew come that wrestlemania monday that hey you know i still have this briefcase but we'll see Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.